Hello there. I appreciate you taking your time out of your busy schedule again to look at my videos. And we'll try and keep it somewhere between 10 and 20 minutes. Uh, so my last video I kind of uh, discussed about the the money frauds and money scandals, the covetousness and the greediness of the witch tower trying to take over Kingdom Hall properties and defaming elders and disposing them of their positions because they didn't want to go along with their witch towers plans and so uh, well, as I was investigating this I came across another link that the Jehovah's Witnesses were involved with the United Nations now if you're not one of Jehovah's Witnesses I'll try and explain to you why this is such a big deal Jehovah's Witnesses preach that we are to be that we are to have strict neutrality when it comes to politics because we are a part of this no parts of this world and so therefore politics are no no and so that means governments and voting and anything like that even in school politics that's not encouraged at all as a matter of fact you can have a discipline disciplinary action taken against you if you do any kind of voting for government city council school anything like that and so uh, the reasoning is when Jesus was uh, mm -hmm. the people tried to make Jesus king he fled and he said uh, that his followers are no part of this world and so Jehovah's Witnesses they're to have strict neutrality when it comes to politics and government and in Revelation you read of the scarlet colored wild beast that's has the great harlot riding it well Jehovah's Witnesses interpret this scarlet colored wild beast that has seven heads and is full of blasphemous names as the United Nations and uh, the great harlot is considered the world empire of false religion which in Jehovah's Witnesses minds is everyone else except for Jehovah's Witnesses that includes all denominations of Christians that are not Jehovah's Witnesses and of course all the other, other religions uh, Hinduism, Buddhism, anything else that is not Jehovah's Witnesses is considered that great harlot. So they do have a definitely a form of elitism. They have the truth. They themselves alone have truth, and no one else does. And so, therefore, we Jehovah's Witnesses are to separate themselves from everyone else spiritually and as much physically as they could, as they can. So, anything having to do with other religions is a no-no. You, you don't accept literature from other religions because we have the truth and they don't. They're part of false religion. And so, you can't even donate to Salvation Army because they're a part of false religion. You can't be a part of YMCA because that has ties to false religion. And so they're very paranoid about having any ties to any other religion. So to be a member of the United Nations, which Jehovah's Witnesses view as that scarlet colored wild beast that claims to bring peace on earth that only God can bring and is full of blasphemous names and has that great harlot writing it, it amounts to hypocrisy so I found out that the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society was involved and indeed a member as a non-government organization with the United Nations from 1991 to 2001 now I, I went ahead and did my own investigations but pretty much afterward I read a book by Tammy Dickerson called Jehovah's Witnesses and the United Nations how the watchtower fooled millions and I encourage you if you haven't done any research on this or you've heard about it to go ahead and, and get that book as a matter of fact any of the books by Tammy Dickerson are awesome I, I, I highly encourage you 
if you want to learn something about Jehovah's Witnesses, get Tammy Dickerson's books because um, she backs it up. She has a statement and she backs it up where she gets that statement from. And so uh, my hat's off to her. Tammy, you're a good author. I appreciate your books. Um, so I begin investigating and uh, I come to find out, yes, it's true. Jehovah's Witnesses were indeed involved. Uh, there's no disputing that. Now, the reasons why they, um, I guess, uh, disassociated themselves from the United Nations uh, immediately after a newspaper um, came out with a story back in 2001. The, the Watchtower immediately disassociated themselves after that news story was published by the Guardian in the United Kingdom. Now their reasons were that they changed up their their requirements for membership of a, a non-government organization and that they they used their membership to gain access to their library which was changed up in 1991. They had a library that was uh, free to access and in 1991 they changed it up and said you needed to be registered as an NGO with the United Nations in order have to have access to that library. So therefore the Watchtower complied and got membership so they could have access to that library. Well upon further investigation it is true that you needed access to that library but what was in that library that was so important that they had books in there that no one else had you couldn't find those books anywhere else except for the United Nations Library I highly doubt they had some kind of information that wasn't available anywhere else in, in the entire planet Earth and um, I come to find out they have other libraries that are free for the public aside from this one where all, it's members only library there they had at least three two in New York and one in New Jersey where they basically had the same information it was open to the public and no membership was needed so I'm not buying this oh we needed access to their library when there was a free and public library available without membership so again they're they're the what the witch tower is lying out of their teeth by saying oh we needed the library card yeah right not buying it they also said that they use their membership to help out in third world countries now for Jehovah's Witnesses they do this by means of the preaching work. You don't need a membership with the United Nations to help out in third world countries. You already do that by preaching and building kingdom halls. What do you need their help? That's not relying on Jehovah. That's relying on men. And that's what the Israelites did. They relied on the Egyptians when they felt that they didn't have any they didn't have God's support and so it's just very hypocritical on the witch towers part to discipline and expel people for having any involvement with politics any sort of governmental job and they themselves behind everyone's back are members you can't have it both ways witch tower and so yeah, it, there. When this came out in my life, and I found out about this, I, I felt like the the boxer that was just knocked down. He got hit, and uh, he's down on one knee. And the referee's counting, and he's up to seven. He's counting to eight, and the boxer stands up, and he he really doesn't know where he's at, but he puts the gloves up, and uh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm okay. And that's how I was spiritually uh, I really didn't want to believe it I wanted to continue fighting for my religion but then uh, the next video 
Jehovah's Witnesses and Jimmy Swagger was kind of the uppercut that just knocked me out of this religion. I couldn't believe that they did this back in the 1980s. So the next article is going to be about the Witch Tower supporting the good old Jimmy Swaggart.